Welcome back to Rhythm and Rome Modern Railroad Club of Australia, Ohio. Welcome. This is going to be a how-to video. Um, how to modify your Riviasi uh, passenger cars to from the a horn hook to a KD coupler. I did every one of them. I cut I cut air hoses because they always snag on everything. And the way this is just a little bit delicate, and I'll show you why. So I'll show you how I modify a Riviasi car from from the old horn hooks to the newer style couplers. Okay, the first thing you want to do is cut the horn hooks off. That's you see a bunch of them there. Here's the KD couplers. I use these right here. Not sponsored, but I wish. That's what I use. So what I do, I cut when I cut the, the horn hook off, then I use a file on, and scrape it down. Man, this camera sucks. Hang on. Okay, the lighting is better over here. So you can see I, I took the shine off the plastic. Did the same thing to the KD coupler, because when you get it out of the box, it looked like that. Just black. You just take the file, file it down until it's bare metal. It's stuck in my hand. Okay. And I use super glue, if anybody's wondering. I got it pretty good now. And then you, I use this stuff here. It's a, a fast agent with super glue. You could use it with any kind of super glue. And I, I like this stuff so much. And it's already dry already. Nice and Now after I put it back together, lines up perfectly. Let's do the back one. Looking chair. It's making a liar out of me now. It's down a little bit, but that's fine. So I put it back on the layout. And it looks really good. Boom. Look at that. So I'll do it again. That way you guys can see how it's done real quick. So again, all you got to do is cut here. That's it. Then you just file the top over here just to knock the glaze off and do the same thing. But what you want to do is glue this on top just like that. And then what I done, like I said, you just file it off so it's bare steel. That way you know make sure it sticks real good. And you want to only put it right on top of that. So now we're going to go from the workbench up to here. I'll hold the camera correctly. So the, the hose is hitting just a little bit. So I do have the tool. We'll see if I can bend it up real quick. Okay, round two. I'll tell you what, that's really close enough for me. I'm happy with that. So let's put it on the train car. And... Okay. Now I got all hooked in. That looks really good. That's more modern than anything else. If you guys want to know why I cut the hoses, because sometimes when they're together like that, 
they snag on stuff. It doesn't matter how high I get that. Sometimes it's pretty close. That's pretty good there. But sometimes I, I can't get the crimping just right and everything else. So hopefully it helps you guys out. Go from old technology to new technology. So when it's right on the layout, you can take it someplace at your buddies or something. Don't tell them you what you've done. But like, man, where'd you get the uh, passenger cars? And like, yeah, they're old Robbie Aussie. They ain't gonna believe you. And you know, uh, to me, that looks so much better compared to what it used to look like. So now I got, huh, I got to buy more KDs for all ladies. The only ones that's been KD'd is the ch chassis system I done up. Those are KDs. So I need to get more KDs for everything else. It's gonna be a, a lot. So if KD, you're watching this, sponsor me because I need some KDs immediately. <laughs> All right, hopefully this can help you guys out. All right, I'll see ya. Peace.